The Addicts' next match was an evening game at home to Sheffield United on the 30th of August. Final score, Charlton Athletic 1, Sheffield United 1. The following Saturday, Charlton were at home again to take on Russell Osmond's Bristol City. Here's Steve Dixon. Here's White again, and he finds Mortimer. Oh, nice turn from Mortimer. Mortimer skips away from one challenge, and a second, and a third. Great run from Mortimer, the shot comes in. Oh, he squeezed it in, what a marvellous goal from Paul Mortimer. And uh, he's well pleased with that, and well he might be, and that really did roll back the years for the Charlton fans at the Valley this afternoon. Paul Mortimer scoring the type of goal that he used to score for Charlton in the First Division days a few years ago. He drifted away from one, two, three challenges, and then picked his spot past Keith Welch from about 18, maybe 20 yards out. Charlton Athletic 1, Bristol City 0. Baird. Mortimer trying to find Newton and Garland now battling with Ian Baird comes out on this near side to Fowler he's got one man on the overlap it's Martin Scott oh Scott skips through of Newton gets the ball in and Wayne Allison tucks it in and that is a very good goal indeed for Bristol City Martin Scott on the overlap got past Newton got to the byline pulled back a decent cross and Wayne Allison one of the better centre forwards in this division just tucked it in past Michael Mann. Robson into the corner for Charlton from this near side. And the chance now, oh, it's White, and there it is, it's 2-1 to Charlton. Alan McCleary won a vital header in front of Keith Welsh, and David White was there, right place, right time, 2-1 to Charlton. Robson it was who swung the cross in. Nelson got the header on the edge of the box and it was Alan McCleary, the captain, who popped up there in the six-yard box, beat Welsh and White did the rest. Mortimer sends that one forward and Nelson giving chase. Mark Shell is the defender. Can Nelson get away from him? White, oh, neat ball in towards Robson. The chip to the far post. Oh, there's a chance for David White, and it's 3-1. David White grabs his second of the game, and that really was a super move by Charlton. Mark Robson on the overlap, clipping the ball to the far post, and White was there to make it 3-1. Gary Nelson was involved. White played a super ball in for Robson, and then made a neat run to the far post, and all the Bristol City defenders went to the near post, and when it arrived, David White was unmarked to make it 3-1 to Charlton. Bristol City are not out of this game yet. They fashioned one or two decent chances. Cross coming in from Edwards. Allison with the header, and there it is. 3-2. And this game is not over yet. There's still 19 or 20 minutes to be played. And Wayne Allison grabs his second of the game. And again, a very tidy finish indeed from the City centre forward. Edwards swung the cross in, and Allison neatly finished with his head. The game finished. Charlton Athletic 3. Bristol City 2, the Addicts' first win of the season. <music> Next up on the fixture list was the away game with Grimsby on the 10th of September. 
the game was settled in the 58th minute when a fierce strike from Mark Robson was helped on its way by a deflection of fullback Gary Croft. The final score, Grimsby Town nil, Charlton Athletic won. On the 14th of September, Charlton were at the Victoria ground to take on Stoke City. The game got off to a rocky start for the Addicts as Nigel Gleghorn opened the home side's account in the 18th minute. Five minutes later, the Potters had widened the gap with Toddy Orlickson putting the ball past Micah Mann to bring the score to 2-0. Shortly after the break, the Addicts were facing a chasmous defeat as Paul Pescasolido rubbed salt into Charlton's wounds with Stokes' third goal of the evening. However, Charlton weren't going to let Stoke take the spoils that easily as Gary Nelson sparked something of a revival with his 72nd-minute effort. David White brought the Addicts back into contention with his fifth goal of the season, 13 minutes from time. But it was too little, too late for Charlton. The game finished Stoke City 3, Charlton Athletic 2. The Addicts' first defeat in six games. There were happier times ahead the following Saturday as Charlton hosted Swindon with new signing Keith Jones from South End joining the starting lineup. Charlton haven't got the ball to feet to their forwards, and that's putting Brown under pressure. Did well to find Nelson. Nelson, no one in the middle, he's going to have to wait, hold the game up, pulling it back, and crossing it back in, there's White, open time, yes! Charlton, on their first real attack score, David White, 13 minutes into the first half, well they came away there, Brown did well to put the ball down to Nelson, Nelson never had anybody in the box at the time, held it up, pulled it back, left foot curled it in, and David White all on his own. 1 0 to Charlton Athletic. Chapel wins that one with strong tackle. And yeah, Steve Brown's got a bit of space, a bit of time. Lee Burns in the middle, pointing for a gap. Newton's going that way as well. This is Sean Newton. First time in, it's a good cross. Here's White's header. Oh, and Digby holds it on the line. The full time score Charlton Athletic 1, Swindon 0. Afterwards, John Fuller chatted to co-manager Steve Grit. After Wednesday night, a bit of a team change today as well, with uh, four players going out and four new ones coming back in. Well, we decided to make a few changes. Uh, we have been leaking too many goals in. Um, <clears throat> that's not to say that the players come out. It was entirely down to them. But uh, we just felt it needed a shake-up, as we have done in the past. And uh, I'm pleased to see it come off. Andy's had a good game. Stuart's been solid at the back. Keith Jones has come in and been excellent in the middle of the park. Uh, I thought he, he steadied us, did it nice and simple, won lots of challenges and just gave it to a red shirt all the time, which is exactly what we expected of him. So, uh, no, we were pleased. John also had the chance to welcome Keith Jones to the club. Is it difficult to come from another side to a new team and within two or three days you're out there, you know, straight away in amongst it all? Uh, yeah, it is difficult because, you know, you don't know after names, you know, especially in the heat of the battle, you know, you're fumbling for your words. but. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not easy, but uh, the lads played really well today, I thought, in, you know, especially the first half, played some really good football, and uh, I just can't wait to, you know, get going, really.